Proverbs 4 verse 23, keep your heart with all vigilance, for from it flow the springs of life. This proverb urges careful guarding of the heart, recognizing it as the source from which life's influences and actions emanate. Psalm 51 verse 10, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. The psalmist pleads for God's transformative work, seeking a heart purified from sin and aligned with God's desires. Matthew 5 verse 8, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Jesus connects purity of heart with the privilege of experiencing a deep and intimate connection with God. Jeremiah 17 verse 9, The heart is deceitful above all things, and desperately sick, who can understand it? This verse acknowledges the fallen nature of the human heart, emphasizing the need for divine understanding and healing. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make straight your paths. Trusting God with the entirety of one's heart is presented as the pathway to divine guidance and direction in life. Luke 6 verse 45, the good person out of the good treasure of his heart produces good, and the evil person out of his evil treasure produces evil, for out of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaks. Jesus teaches that the heart's contents are revealed through words and actions, emphasizing the importance of cultivating goodness within. Ezekiel 36 verse 26, And I will give you a new heart, and a new spirit I will put within you. And I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. God's promise to provide a new heart symbolizes a transformation from hardness and resistance to one that is receptive and responsive. Psalm 19 verse 14, Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. This verse expresses a desire for both speech and inner reflections to align with God's standards, acknowledging Him as the source of strength and redemption. Matthew 22 verse 37, And He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. Jesus identifies the comprehensive nature of loving God, involving not only the heart but also the soul and mind, highlighting the importance of intellectual and emotional devotion. Psalm 73 verse 26, my flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. The psalmist acknowledges human frailty but finds assurance in God as the eternal source of strength and satisfaction. Deuteronomy 6 verse 5, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. This command emphasizes wholehearted devotion to God, involving the entirety of one's being. 1 Samuel 16 verse 7, But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not look on his appearance or on the height of his stature, because I have rejected him. For the Lord sees not as man sees, man looks on the outward appearance, but the Lord looks on the heart. God's perspective transcends external appearances, emphasizing the significance of the heart's condition. Psalm 34 verse 18, The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. This verse offers comfort by highlighting God's closeness to those who are brokenhearted and crushed in spirit. Mark 12 verse 30, And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. Jesus reiterates the command to love God comprehensively, emphasizing the involvement of the heart, soul, mind, and strength. Psalm 139 verses 23 to 24, Search me. O oh God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any grievous way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. The psalmist invites God to examine his heart and thoughts, seeking correction and guidance in alignment with God's eternal way. Hebrews 4 verse 12, For the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and of spirit, of joints and of marrow, and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. The Word of God is portrayed as a powerful instrument capable of discerning the deepest thoughts and intentions of the heart. Psalm 27 verse 14, 
Wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage, wait for the Lord. The psalmist encourages a posture of strength and courage rooted in patient waiting on the Lord. Colossians 3 verse 23, Whatever you do, work heartily, as for the Lord and not for men. This verse underscores the importance of dedicating one's efforts wholeheartedly to the Lord rather than seeking approval from human sources. Psalm 37 verse 4, Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. This verse suggests that finding joy in the Lord leads to a heart aligned with His desires, resulting in the fulfillment of one's own. James 4 verse 8, Draw near to God, and He will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. James emphasizes the correlation between drawing near to God and the purification of the heart, warning against divided or double-minded loyalty. 1 Peter 3 verse 4, But let your adorning be the hidden person of the heart with the imperishable beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which in God's sight is very precious. Peter highlights the enduring value of a gentle and quiet spirit, characterizing the beauty that is precious in the sight of God. Psalm 19 verse 7, The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul, the testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The psalmist recognizes the soul-reviving and wisdom-imparting qualities of God's law. Acts 15 verse 9, And he made no distinction between us and them, having cleansed their hearts by faith. The cleansing of hearts through faith is emphasized as a unifying factor among believers. Jeremiah 29 verse 13, You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. God's promise is conditional on wholehearted seeking, reinforcing the idea that genuine pursuit leads to a profound encounter with Him. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 6, For God, who said, Let light shine out of darkness, has shown in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. The transformative power of God's light is portrayed as illuminating the hearts of believers with the knowledge of His glory through Jesus Christ.